I'm not really sure how long of a walk it is to the hot spring. This is Bonneville Hot Spring. There is nobody parked at the campground trailhead. Um, I believe the campgrounds are closed till May 1st. So by the map, it kind of looks like it's about a mile. Two miles is okay. I guess there's a lot of bears, so I brought my pepper spray. I should have practiced it before, but oh well. It's actually really nice out. It's, there is snow as you can see, but the walk ahead is, I mean, the road's not bad. I should watch for bears. Let you know if I see anything interesting. So I have made it to the Bonneville campground. It is about two thirds of the way-ish to the hot spring. So it looks like I'm gonna have it to myself. Not really sure what the soaking situation is there. I think it's kind of shallow. If it's the one I'm thinking about, I don't know. This is a really, really nice campground. Really nice spots, tables, fire pits, barbecues, all that kind of jazz. Oh, don't fall. I think I see it. Oh, I definitely see it. Oh, look, look at that steam. And there's also something over here, right there. <laughs> and I get it all to myself. Oh my God, this is, this is a dream come true. How should I approach it? When I go to the top and work my way down, this is crazy. <laughs> it's a beautiful hike. Beautiful. It is so nice outside right now. It's probably like 56, maybe. Um, a little bit of a cold wind, but not bad. It's actually perfect. It's perfect. There's a building. What is the building? Oh. I see a little hot spot up here. I'm sure that's a little pool. Ooh, that water's warm. Okay, let's turn around. There's this building, like a dressing room or something. Oh, no way. Holy cow. It's hot too. 
It's not too hot to get in. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Coming from, let's cross over here. This is so nice. This water is hot enough where I'm afraid to touch it. Let's see how hot it is. Ooh. That is hot enough where I do not want to touch it again. That is a hot source. And look at those little flowers right there growing right next to the hot water. I really want to get inside of that um, little indoor pool, but it's so beautiful out here that I want to be outside. How do I get down there? Okay. Before I get in, I actually want to just walk down the river just a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if there's a hot one right on the river. Wouldn't that be cool? I bet it's too cold. Ooh. It's not too cold. Ooh, it's hot. Oh my God, these are all hot. Can't really make up my mind where I want to soak. There's also hot water coming down right over here. This one is a pretty deep. I mean, as far as pretty deep, I'm gonna say like, it cover your body if you lay down. Probably about 15 inches right now. And how warm is it? Get my pants wet. Okay, it's not the hottest right here. I'm going to soak over here by the first hot spot, the big one. Are you ready for this? I'm going to soak in this pool. I can't help it. It's the biggest. It's just as deep as all the others. And look, the hot water source right there. Now, the question is if it's too hot. Oh. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, it's not as wet as you think it would be, though. Yeah, it's really, I haven't got up there, though. Something's off the way you look. 
looking how you pause when you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me something brand new So I soaked down in the pools by the strain for a while and then I had somebody come and soak with me very nice fella David I think his name's David um, been soaking for 40 years just my kind of person um, I wanted to soak in this tub here real quick before I left and the sun's also going down a mess already and I've only been gone one night So I am going to get out of here. It takes about, I don't know, 15 minutes to walk out if I just walk out. Um, yeah, I'm going to go find a camping spot. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It helps me out. It really does. And leave me a comment. Ask me a question. Um, yeah. I did not put a video out this week and I'm really having a hard time with that. I'm feeling super guilty and irresponsible, but my work schedule changed, so everything changed. So I am going to head out. I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Thank you for sucking with me. And I'll see you next Thursday.